Hi everyone. Um, I just want to tell you, God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, I just want to share some with you real quick. It's it's kind of important. Um, it really touched my heart. Um, I've been using this Wonder app. It's like a it's on the Play Store. It's like an AI art generator. And I've been doing a lot of art from of Jesus. That's where I got um, this picture you're looking at now. You just type in whatever you want to see. And the AI generator generates the art. It's, it's really cool. But it can look kind of not natural sometimes. Like a few times um, it has shown me Jesus with like three arms. I'm like, wow, sometimes four arms. But mostly three arms, but it's AI, so it's not a human. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I've never looked it up. But I probably will, just to see, like, you know, how that works. I know a little bit about it, but not much. But long story short, I want to get to the point, because I'm really tired, and, um, I just run really hot all the time because I talk to God and God of Jesus on and off all day. I pray a lot and I stay in scripture. And um, I just pretty much dedicated my life to God and I'm living what I've always dreamed of living. I, I didn't think it would be like this. Um, I didn't think I'd ever come out with this, but I did. And I'm so thankful I did because... I think it gives people a chance to see that God is real and Jesus is real. You know, after I do about a million videos for God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, people are going to start to realize, hey, this has got to be real. Well, it is real, and you'll see. But what I'm getting at, um, with this Wonder AI generator, um, a few times, it, it would show me Jesus with, like, three arms. I'm like, wow, that is so messed up. Okay, so... God and Jesus are holy. Like, I mess up sometimes because I know he's holy. And the way I ask him stuff, I mean, he's holy. I mean, we just cannot grasp how holy God is. And how holy and powerful God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are. There's no way for us to grasp the concept of just the power and the holiness and the purity. But since I used that AI art generator, um, and I've been talking to God and Jesus, Jesus actually came forth on me one time on the tissue with three arms. And it looked like he was laughing, and I'm pretty sure he was. But it kind of broke my heart in a way because I know God and Jesus are doing this because they want to connect with you. That's why I'm telling you about this. Um, Jesus and God want to connect with us so bad. If you go back and look at the videos I've done on tissue, asking God and Jesus questions, they do a lot of, show us a lot of things that have to do with us, like hearts. Um, and I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, God answers every question I ask him. Jesus answers every question I ask him. Now, sometimes when it's late at night like this, they'll tell me to go to sleep. They'll they'll shut me down. They haven't done it recently, but they have done it before, and I've done videos on it. Like they're like, go to sleep. You're in the flesh. You got to sleep. But um, I want to tell you, it really it after he did it. Um, a couple days afterward, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, we're talking about the king of the world, the prince of peace, the one who died to save every one of us, who lives inside of me, 
That's why I recommend that you get baptized. Jesus was baptized. We want to be like Jesus. You can get saved just by saying, Jesus, I believe you died for me on the cross. I believe you were born of the Virgin Mary. I believe you came to the earth in the flesh. You died for me on the cross. Um, you were crucified, you died, you were buried, you rose again on the third day and ascended into the heaven. You came down here in the flesh just to save me. I believe it. Please come into my heart, come into my life, and walk with me, and be my Savior. You can get saved like that, but I believe you should get baptized too. But I'm tired, and I'm, I'm about loopy, and I'm getting off the point. The point is... Jesus lives inside of me. He sees everything I do. That's why I'm very careful what I put my in my eye, ear, and heart gate because I want to always be pleasing to God, to Jesus, and to, to the Holy Spirit. I don't want to grieve them. That's my choice. I'm not doing it to get into heaven. I'm doing it because I know that God created everything and He has what, had to watch man go through and do so many horrible things that God never wanted us to experience because of sin. So I just want to give back because I've seen him do so much good. I'm just a stand-up kind of person. I've always been that way, and I just want to give back. That's all. But long story short, it was really amazing to me how he showed up with three arms I was like, okay, he really wants to connect with us bad enough to show up on tissue after he watched me look at these photos with three arms. He's like, look, and you know, it reminded me of the scripture where he says, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your arm causes you to sin, cut it off. He said it's better to go into heaven without an arm or without an eye than it is to go to hell with an arm and an eye, basically. I don't remember exactly the scripture, but I know what it is. And it's just amazing to me that he would show up like that with like three arms after he watched me looking at this stuff. And I was like, wow. You know, he's willing to, like, come forth like that just to make some kind of a connection with me because he's holy. He came down here. He never sinned. Jesus is without sin. He is so holy. I mean, I don't really stress over how I deal with him, but I'm very careful how I deal with him. I'm very careful how I talk to him because I do have enough knowledge of the Bible to understand holiness. But for him to approach me like that, it kind of broke my heart because it made me realize just even after he died on the cross, just how far he's still willing to go to connect with us. That's my point. And that's all I want to say. You guys have a God blessed day. Please forgive me if this is just a rambling video, but it's kind of late and I've been hanging out with God and Jesus tonight, doing a few things, experimenting with different kinds of tissue and stuff, trying to figure out, you know, what works the best or what will work besides what they normally like. I'm always trying to do other stuff. And the Holy Spirit just laid it on my heart to tell you guys about this. There is no link that Jesus will not go to and God to connect with you. And ask God, ask Jesus to put the Holy Spirit in you and magnify it in you every day and to lead you. You cannot go wrong with God. He knows everything. He owns everything. I mean, judgment is passed from the Father to the Son. He handed it all to Jesus. Jesus owns everything. He owns every person. He owns it all. So any problem you have can be fixed and answered by a relationship with God. 
and his way is always better than our way. I've experienced it over and over in my life. I've seen it happen in other people's lives. And God is the only way. Jesus is the only way. I just wanted to share that with you because it was so amazing. It was just absolutely amazing. God bless you guys. I'm always praying for everyone. I pray for everyone when I do communion every day. And I'm just praying that, you know, people will see these videos and they'll realize they'll have a chance. Because there's so many things out there for people to get distracted by. And that's not what God created us for. Have a God blessed day. He created us for his pleasure to have a relationship with him. And for him to lead and guide us. Have a God blessed day. Take care.